Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be installing my new Miele washing machine. Now obviously this is a service you can pay for on average 25 to 35 pounds in the UK but if you want to save some money it is a fairly simple job to do yourself especially if you're just replacing your existing washing machine because obviously you'll have all the plumbing and electrics ready set up so it's just a case of swapping the machines over in most cases. The first and most important thing to do before delivery put something down on the floor to protect it. I've got an old piece of carpet. Washing machines, especially this Miele washing machine, is very heavy and if you slide it across certain floors, especially a cushioned vinyl, you'll find you'll rip the floor. So be careful with your flooring. So that's what I've done. Obviously, I've taken all the packaging off and removed any items from inside the drum. So this is the back of the machine. The first thing to do is to remove the transit bolts. Transit bars are fitted to washing machines to protect them during transportation, but it is very important to remove them before you use your washing machine for the first time. Failure to remove the transit bars can result in damage to your machine. So on this Miele, the transit bars are located here and here. Supplied with this machine is a spanner with a little hook on the end. So this is the first bar. There's a little cover here. Move the cover out of the way and then this part of the spanner goes into a slot on the transit bar. And then turn the transit bar 90 degrees until you should be able to carefully remove it. There we go. Do the same for the other side and then close the cover. Next I'm going to free the mains cable from the back of the machine. I'm just going to remove the drain hose from its shipping position and also the fill hose. And now you can see I've already put one of the transit bars here. Miele provided two clips to store the transit bars. So I'll put the other one on. So if you have to move your machine again, if you move house, or for example, the machine's going to a new owner, you've got the transit bars to refit to protect the machine during transportation. The three connections I need to make when installing my new Miele washing machine are the drain hose, the cold fill water supply, and of course, the electrical connection. Now that I've removed the transit bars, I need to manoeuvre the washing machine nearer to where it's going to be installed so I can make the connections. I'm going to leave it on this old bit of carpet for as long as I can until it's ready to go under the counter. So, it's fairly easy to manoeuvre when it's on a piece of carpet. You may need help moving the machine. can't push it in too far because I need to get behind the machine in order to make the connections. Right. Okay, I think that's about as near as I can go for now. The plumbing for my washing machine is in an awkward place. It's tucked behind another cabinet, so it is a very tight squeeze for me. Now obviously your plumbing will be different to mine, but it should be pretty standard. This is the cold supply. When you remove your old washer, you should just be able to screw on the new supply. It's the same fitting and you do it hand tight. You don't use a spanner, just hand tight is fine. Now, sometimes you can actually connect this directly to the drain if your washer is near a sink and then you'd need a, a little Jubilee clip or circlip that you can screw up to tighten it. But I have a stand pipe, which is fairly common in the UK. So I need to attach this part to the end of the drain hose. So let's just untangle everything. Now, obviously, everything I'm showing you is in the instruction book of your washing machine. And there are other online videos you can check. But I've uh, installed every single washing machine I've bought myself. So once you've done it a few times, it is pretty simple. 
Okay, I might have to adjust that, but that's the basic thing you need to do for the end. So then this part of the hose fits in to the standpipe behind me. And then I need to connect the cold water supply to this here, the cold water inlet or outlet, should I say. It's turned off, obviously, but when it's connected up, normally there'll be a little blue colored tap. You just need to open the tap so water flows. And then also I've got to plug this in and the plug for my washer is in a very awkward position. It's actually inside a cupboard. So I've got to try and find the hole that this goes in from up from the bottom of the cupboard. So it's gonna be awkward. As I said, your installation will be different, but it's more or less the same principle. So I think the first thing I'll do, I'll just get rid of the mains cable. I won't be able to plug this washer in yet. That's the final thing I'll be doing. But uh, I'm going to have to try. I've got a plinth here that's uh, coming away. And in this cupboard, just about see it, this cupboard here, at the bottom of the cupboard is a hole where hopefully I can pass the plug through. Trying to find the hole, folks. Here it is, found it. It's very tight. I think I've nearly done it. There we go. I'll pull that through. That's the worst part done. Make sure there's enough cable there so when I push the washer in, it's not going to get caught up. Then hopefully I'll be able to reach into the drain. So basically, if you've got a stand pipe, which is just a plastic pipe attached to the wall, this bit just pushes into the end of it. Now, for more security, you'll see that there's a hole here, so you can actually put, I put a screw and a washer and put it into the wall. You probably need a raw plug, uh, especially if it's going into plasterboard, and that'll help secure it in place so there's no chance it'll pop out. I've checked my connections are tight and there's no water leaking from the cold water inlet. I now need to remove the protective carpet and make sure that the machine is level. Your washing machine needs to be level and it's best to install it on a solid concrete floor. Use a spirit level to make sure you get the level right and you'll find four adjustable feet underneath the washer that can be easily adjusted using the provided spanner. Fortunately, the floor I'm installing my washer on is solid concrete and it's pretty level. Even though I've got a hard wearing floor under this machine, it's very heavy and I don't want to damage the floor. So I'm going to be very careful to maneuver this machine into its final position. It's best if you have someone to help you, but if you're on your own, obviously take your time and don't strain yourself. It's best to try and walk the machine into the position as far as you can. So, um, just slightly lift it. This is going to take a while to get properly into position. Now, fortunately, the feet on this Miele are rubber and they're round. I've had washing machines with hexagonal feet made of hard plastic, and they're the sort of feet that will damage. If you've got cushioned vinyl, it'll rip straight through it. But as I said, I'm still going to be very careful positioning this washer. Okay, well I think everything is in place. Unfortunately this washer does stick out a little bit, but then my old one did as well. But it feels pretty solid, it's not moving. I did have to slightly adjust one of the front feet because it had a slight wobble to it. So always double check the level. Once you've got your washer installed, just make sure that it is firm and level. Well, all I have to do now is remove the last bit of protective packaging and switch this machine on and uh, run through the installation process I need to do before I can wash my first load. 
I'll save that for a separate video. If you have any comments or questions about this washing machine or installing a washing machine, please comment below. But of course, if you're not sure about doing the job yourself, you can pay for it to be installed normally by the retailer you buy your washing machine from. So until the next video, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.